Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about 7 things that I do differently as a single girl. Uh huh. But before that, if this is the very first time you're seeing this face, hello, I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that red subscribe button just underneath this video. Now, let's get started. Guys, I have been... <laughs> I have not been single in a long, long, long time. Let's just put it that way. So these things, these changes in my life are new and also welcoming. I am loving being single. And I just wanted to have this chit chatty video today. There is absolutely, absolutely no beauty talk at all. It's just our girl talk, okay? So let's get started. Number one, finances. Well, it's just that as a couple, the way you do finances is very, very different from the way you do uh, finances as a single girl, you know? So I had to learn the whole thing from scratch, not only as a single girl, but also as a newly returned resident Indian because I've never really lived in India and, you know, earned full time in India and paid taxes and, you know, managing all of this and budgeting and figuring out how to give me what I want to give me. <laughs> The whole thing, guys, finances, it's, um, it's a whole new thing and I'm loving it. I'm loving the power and the uh, freedom and the, what is it? It's just the power and the freedom that I have while making my own decisions with what I'm going to do with my money, you know? And also, of course, learning the right way to invest investments. What? You know, expenses budgeting everything all of these things so finances is a hundred percent number one um, if you are a single girl or not it's absolutely important to be financially completely independent you know um, and learn your ways guys learn how to manage your own finances it's very very important number two a therapy I definitely went for therapy as a married woman as well but therapy as a single girl uh, was much more needed because you know the transition was very very difficult for me obviously I mean it divorce is not easy for anyone you know uh, not just that I was newly single and I was going through divorce I was also going through a whole culture shock and in a change in country I was born and brought up in Kuwait so suddenly to come back to India and to figure out the ways of life here and the finances it was overwhelming for me so therapy was a hundred person needed and in this I also want to club in making time for self-improvement you know things like going for classes taking classes figuring out like self-analysis like okay so who is Jovita what is Jovita um, that happened a lot these are things that I do differently as a single girl a lot of self-reflection as well you know I just it's just that I just get the time you know <laughs> As a wife, I got no time. There are so many other things that you would have to do as a wife. It's just, I have so much more time as a single girl for more self-reflection, to sit with my child. Like, if you remember from my recent video of um, self-care, you know, if you haven't watched it, check it out right here in the i card. I will link it up there um, if I don't remind me, okay? But yeah, as an independent woman, as a single woman, you know, I get so much more time to reflect, about myself, um, which I think is great. <laughs> Number three, a lot more time for friends. Oh, hell yeah. Um, also, might I say, when you are a couple, your friends kind of get intermingled and you are kind of forced to spend time sometimes with people of your partners, your friends of your partners who you don't really like or who you don't gel with, vibe with. But when you are a single girl, you have a hundred percent control of who you're letting into your personal bubble and your life. And that I think is amazing. One, you get a lot more time to spend with people you love. Um, and two, you get get to choose who are the ones in your inner space so um, eventually you're just happier like that you know because again you just have more control and I don't want to keep repeating what I'm saying but making time for friends oh my goodness I love it I obviously used to make time for my friends uh, when I was not single as well but that time was limited because again there were a lot more other things that you had to achieve and attain and you know when you live as a couple so yeah, i love it i love all the time that i have 
Number five, the way I deal with men. I have noticed that ever since I became newly single, a lot of men, a lot of men just, you know, come in thinking it is okay to bombard into your personal space. So I realize it's way more important for me to kind of, you know, build that wall around me. I don't know if it is just India, guys. I don't know. But this is my personal experience. You know, when there is a ring on that finger, it's al almost like an invisible wall for these men. They don't automatically just come and, you know, uh, push themselves into your personal space. But then... When you are newly single, men just plow their way through and you just have to constantly keep your shield up to, you know, <laughs> kind of ward these men off, like unwanted attention and whatnot. You just have to be extra careful of, you know, the even every single word that you say, every single conversation that you have. Um, not a great, not a great point, but yeah, it is something different that I do as a single girl. Number four. Five. This is an extremely Indian thing, but ever since I've been single, I've been so, so, so conscious about the roads I take. Not only when I'm traveling alone, driving alone, I do not take, na like, you know, scary alleys. I would rather take main roads, you know, uh, if it is late at night, if it's late, otherwise it's fine. And also Kerala is a very, very safe city, but still, you know, I would not put myself on a very scary road in the midnight. I am my main protector. I always should be my main protector. Not like, you know, if you have a partner, they will be a protector. You can't expect such things out of anyone. You should always be your main protector. But the fact that I am single and I don't have anyone looking out for me, I'm also very, very, very conscious and careful when I go out uh, for late night, late night outings and, you know, dinners. Make sure I am always like up my, you know, like, hey, where am I? What is happening? And uh, this, I think, also comes with age. You are extremely aware of your surroundings. And being women, we have to be extremely aware of our surroundings no matter what time and uh, no matter what age and no matter what place. But for my young viewers, you know, I want you to remember to always be aware. Kids, listen to Auntie Jovi. Okay, if you go to the club, if you go out drinking, if you're going out late at night, even if you're with your friends, you have to be 100% aware of who you are with and your surroundings and yourself and your body and how you conduct yourself at all times. At all times, okay? If you feel like you are losing control of yourself, head back home. Go back home. It's just a, a little piece of advice. Single or not, because you are your main protector and provider. Number six, I eat whatever I want whenever I want. I don't have to care about another person in the house. I don't have to cook for someone else in the house. You might think that's selfish, but you will not understand the joy of that unless you are on this side of the fence, my friend. It's amazing. There are times when I don't want to have um, heavy lunch, okay? I don't. There are times when I just want to have lace for lunch, like today. Uh, I will. <laughs> The only person who has a say in what I eat is right now my coach and no one else. And I love it. I love it. I was put under so much pressure to have or prepare or, you know, make sure there is like so-and-so food at so-and-so time during the day. Nothing. The freedom, guys. The freedom of choosing to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat is so liberating. I cannot tell you. It's amazing. And finally, number seven, rediscovering and exploring myself in every single way, guys. Uh, this is like a culmination of all of my previous points, but you know, when you are partnered up, especially for a long time, I was with my ex for 12 years, that's a very long time, you, you definitely kind of you know, merge into each other and you both kind of lose your personal identity after a point, especially if you are someone who is very much involved with each other, and we were. We had so many traits of each other. Our opinions were similar. <laughs> our likes and dislikes were similar. You know, what we did during our free time was similar. That you kind of lose yourself at some point when you're in a long-term relationship. Stepping out of it, being single, I'm getting that chance to rediscover myself. What does she like on a 
happy day. What does she like to do when she's lazy? In every way, guys, mentally, physically, emotionally, every way. I'm getting to rediscover myself and it's like finding yourself a new best friend and it's the most invigorating feeling ever, especially when I go on these travels because that is when I completely close a chapter on work. I like switch off. So there is nothing else kind of muddling my thoughts and myself. It's just me figuring out me and I'm amazed at me. <laughs> I'm amazed at who I can be and who I want to be and who I like. And I'm just, I'm learning so much about myself that I thought did not exist in me. So that is the last and final thing that I do differently as a single girl. Okay. So that's it. A quick little chit chat. I want to hear from you now from my single girls. I want to know what are the things that you want to add to my list and to my coupled friends. Uh, what is it that you miss about being single the most? What is it? And we could have a part two of this conversation if you'd like. Let me know. So that is it for this video, guys. I'll catch you in my next one. A, a lot of stuff happening on my Instagram. If you'd like to keep connected with me, stories I post every day. <laughs> I will see you very soon. I love you. Thank you for joining me in this one. Mwah.